Okay. Obviously, you're a drummer. You know, credited really with creating the bomb blast. You just sort of, <laughs> is, is it, what you're like shaking your head. Yeah. Is it now the bane of your life having to perform the bomb blast? Well, no, you know, it's just odd to me, I guess, to think that if that is the if that is true, which I guess I I do my own style blast, right? And it, I guess it was named the bomb blast, and I was doing it on, uh, different than anybody else at the time, like Pete Sandoval mm-hmm. or you know Mike Smith from Suffocation and all that. So, so it is. It's just weird to me, you know, to think that I would be this guy that came up with anything, you know, because who am I in the scheme of the world? I suppose I don't look at myself as being some amazing drummer or anything like that i'm just a, i'm just me doing what i do but i i suppose i was there in the beginning to to create something new in a sense so very 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 weird to so think about that for when a, for some of our listeners there's a lot of our listeners that aren't actually drummers despite me being a drummer a lot of drummers being on here could you explain explain the uh so i remember back in the day it would be called the cannibal blast and then at some point someone called it the bomb blast yeah i think so i don't know how that was i'm not sure could you explain how the cannibal blast your yeah i mean i guess it's you know i'd like if you took the traditional one foot blast that say pete sandoval was doing you know and that's really what i did was when we, you know, when you listen to the first Cannibal record, there's really no blasting on all, at all on that record, you know. And um, we heard Altars of Madness, I think, around that time when we were just before we were going to record Eaton or whatever. But so when I, when we first heard the Morbid, we were just all blown away, of course. Mm-hmm. One of the best bands of all time. And Altars of Madness, you know, one of the best, right? Pete's an amazing drummer and, of course, an innovator and, uh, uh, you know, all that everybody knows, but uh, he was doing the traditional just one foot blast, one, two, you know, yeah. super hard like that. And me being the untechnical guy that I am, and I've, you know, self taught myself, I never took lessons. I just, I didn't always self taught, always self taught, wow. and I just did it by feel. I did everything by kind of feel and just what I, by, you know, trying to mimic what I hear. So I remember when we started writing for Butchered at Birth, then, and of course, we incorporated the blast. You know, you listen to that record, it's all over the place. Yep. Um, but I, I'll i never forget just being up at the practice room going, okay, I'm going to do a blast beat. I'm going to think of what Pete's doing in my head and just I'm just going to do it. And that's what ended up coming out of me. It's wow. so weird. It's not like I sat and thought and go, okay, what what do I got to do? You know, what's the mechanics behind it and all this kind of thing. I didn't think of that whatsoever. I just sat on the drum set and I did a, a, a bomb blast. You know? Can you remember the time that you did it? I remember it was in Buffalo at, at, at a practice facility and I can't remember, and maybe we were writing the song Gutted perhaps maybe because... Um, I can't recall fully, but I do remember just sitting down and going, okay, I'm going to do a bomb blast. And I'm just, and I, I didn't think about it. Somebody might have played a riff or whatever. I just did what I did, which is what I still do to this day. Yeah. You know, the, the fast double bass with the snare over the top of, uh, top of it like that. Um, and, 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 and that's what I was mimicking or trying to mimic with what Pete was doing, but my own, my own way of, of interpreting it, I guess, yeah. you know? So, um, and then that's the way I've done it since you know i mean and literally created yeah. shaped a genre right right i mean who would have thought you know so crazy just a, yeah really crazy really crazy